Hello guys, how are you today? And welcome to Beans Black. Well, today we're going to teach you how to do the basic configurations for our Com Up module. This is the Intelli Gen NTC or NT module, and how we can do the configurations for this one. And also, I will show you what is the basic parameters for your engine side to our alternator side and what you're going to do about this uh, module how it will work and if in case uh, there is some alarm what we're going to do uh, in, in order to fix those problems so for now I will show you how to do our standard configurations for this module if this one is I will install this one to uh, Perkins uh, uh, 500 kVA engine so meaning this one is an electronic uh, engine you can use it also this one to the conventional engine but it will uh, different the configurations okay so now we're going to start for our uh, basic configurations this is the configurations is this is uh, synchronizing configurations okay so okay guys now we're going to start our configurations about this uh, come up uh, intelligent NT and which there is no USB connection uh, connector in, in the module but uh, this point we need only the converter for RST now first thing you have to open uh, the Intelli monitor from your computer and as you can see here uh, the serial USB port just click this one or automatically you just click the open now it takes time to read your comp uh, your module so once it is 100% now you can see here what is the alarm and what is uh, <coughs> uh, the status of your module in here uh, you can control this is uh, the SCADA for uh, this uh, module you can start and stop here and you can control also the auto mode and uh, the button as well so <coughs> now uh, in order to um, do the configurations uh, for example you have uh, the uh, what we call the file for example just click the folder and search for example just click the folder and uh, find where it is uh, the configurations that you save it okay so yeah like that you just search it where it is but for now we, we don't have for that so we'll just close it that one now we're going to uh, start the configurations uh, first thing you have to uh, uh, <coughs> click this one okay config control zero so you you do the shortcut if you want to do the shortcut you just uh, press control and zero it will automatically read your module for example I do like that you can also uh, apply like that just click down and it will uh, just wait for a minute or a seconds it will uh, start uh, reading the module so at this point uh, <coughs> you can see here then just only click yes okay now you can see we are here in the module so you can see it down you have the controller you see you and if you have an extension so for example you have the uh, uh, what we call the, the PLC extension for your what you want to do for the synchronizing you can do it by that and for now for example I will go first the controller so we are in the NT not NTC and not uh, IG okay IG does EE -E. so
So because we have three here, the IG does NT and the IG does NTC and the IG does EE and C. Okay, so we will click this one. <coughs> so as you can see, it will show and pop up here. It is connected. Now, it's okay already. For example, this one is uh, electronic engine. So you just click this one so you can find uh, the lists what kind of uh, uh, engine do you have uh, the ECU engine do you have so you have for example mine here is 500 kBA so this one is Perkins uh, so we just search it until you find uh, the Perkins So here we have the Perkins ECM 2.6.0. So you just click this one. Okay. So once it is click, just put it insert. Okay. So as you can see, now it is having the ECM Perkins ECM here. So it is inserted from your module already. And after that, you can see here the graph and the diagrams for your uh, uh, ECM. Then after that, you can also change this one if you need it. But for me, it is ne not necessary to change everything here. Just leave it like that then for example if you have an extension then you can add an extension if you want to remove just remove it okay so after that we will go from IO, our IO so in here you can configure your binary inputs for example so since this one is NT IGS NT so just click that one for example uh in here we have in the in the anti so for example it depends on your standard configurations okay uh, i'll just show you for example only that this is the, our configurations so you can do it also by your side so just follow the configure uh, configuration standard of or if you are the one who make your configurations you can do it alone so, for example, our B1 is uh, config this one as um, emergency stop. Okay, so just find it here. Emergency stop. Okay. So, it's not uh, much uh, difficulties if you have that one. Just click it here. Find the emergency stop. Like that. So, you're asking local functions already assigned. Do you want to want to change it yes so just change it now it will become an emergency stop if you want to invert you just click like that okay so invert means this one is like uh, for example this one is um, normally close to activate so if you are invert this one meaning the function will become invert instead of normally close it will become active at normally open okay understand <clears throat> so here in the name is not yet changed you just change that one at as uh, emergency stop okay uh, emer i'll just uh, type it small later no problem you can do it your own emergency stop it's like that okay so after that and the functions for this is uh, not uh, breaker so just only put this one as just remove for the functions of protections also is uh, close to active all the time so you have the delay for points five seconds so this one is feedback not for emergency stop just leave it like that okay so just close that one because this one is function as your emergency stop 
So next is our, for example, uh, B2. Yeah, you can config whatever you want. Uh, okay. So for example, uh, you need this one as uh, like OL pressure. You can you can select by here. Okay. You just click this one. What is uh, your need needed for your configurations? Okay. So at this side here, the name. This is where you can change the name, so it will show to your module. Because if you're not changed, this one will become uh, MCB feedback. It will not change. You have to change it. Whatever the configuration you did in this uh, set points, like the B1, B2, B3, like that. Okay. So as simple as like that. So here, for example, anything you can select by this side. So I don't want to uh, make it more time just so we can uh, just show you only uh, uh, the, uh, where you can config. For example, binary output, just click again, just close this one for a while. So the, the IGCNT, so here you can designate your starter, fuel solenoid, DCB close and everything you can. So just click this one if you want to use this as starter. and here is starter so you can also that one is invert for example as what I said invert means it will change the either the polarity output or because this one is output so just put it no and if for example the fuel solenoid just select here what is your uh, really configurations for that everything just click and it will pop up here the rest of the selections that you needed then next is our uh, analog input means analog you can hear you can see here we have the oil pressure so here you can change if you are using the video whatever it is by bar you can change it also by degree and everything here just click it some portion here so you can change that one the range and by graph and whatever okay <coughs> So by points you can change the points. So uh, protection level you can add if you have like this. You can understandable already this one. So for example the functionality here you can check. I'll be sure. So like that same as functionality or you want fuel level depends on you which one you're going to do it. So you can select where we can find uh, this one the sensor where you can take so here for example this one old sensor you can select this side so you have the old sensor okay if for example water temp here water temp and if you click this one you can see here what is the selections you needed okay it's over here if you want to change the water temp into the fuel level, warning temp, or whatever, okay. <coughs> so simple as like that. Just click first here, and you can see if this is the fuel level. If you want to adjust this one, the sensor type we have the PT and everything. Other sensor, for example, you can select from here. You can. There's a lot of uh, selections you can select. After that, you just is okay if you selected already okay <coughs> so just put it here so our sensor is by percentage so example that one is your sensor or if your sensor is your speed t and t so if others you just click this other so you can select whatever you wanted so same as everything is like that only and then in the analog input so you just click this one <coughs> i see you so here you see you one so we have the just click this one you can add uh, we added here the speed rig rpm and you can the sources you can put it here also okay the limit and the you value and everything you can select okay so here as you can see you can select from this side just click that one and it automatically 
save it from this side so now we're done from here the binary inputs outputs analog and analog output so let's go from our uh, set points so for example this one <coughs> load 1000 kilowatt value like this blah 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 so it is uh, very uh, understandable okay so for example <laughs> we'll go from our uh, uh, configuration from this one you just uh, put this one zero and it is off and for example your power factor we are always using standard is 0.8 correct and this one is <coughs> Since this one is um, synchronizing, so we need this one, not the base load, load sharing. Okay, load sharing that is necessary, and after that, this uh, uh, veering, this uh, voltage sharing, and after that, it's just put it like internal, internal. Okay, so it's just follow this one here, no need to change but for this one for example this one only for the single dg you can click it this one base load okay so since this one is synchronizing you have to put it load share voltage sharing okay so now just down here is no need to change okay <coughs> so this you is uh, just uh, check this one for example the kilowatt and everything so just simply uh, check what is uh, here needed but for now here no need to change so BC configurations for example we have the 500 kVA so we have here supposedly this one is 400 kilowatt so the nominal uh, current so this one you have to calculate our uh, config uh, calculation for that so in order to uh, make uh, the correct uh, configure uh, configuration so this one is uh, 500 kVA so it's supposed to be our voltage here is we're using 415 so just multiply it into oops, times one happy now this is 500 so this one is 695 amps okay so you can round up this one as uh, 696 okay so the city ratio you have to look this one to your city which uh, it is installed in your uh, <coughs> uh, alternator so for here we're using this one is uh, 800 and then our this one is 800 by 5 so it's already here no need to change so the earth falls cities so since this one if we have no installed just put this one 5 and 1 no need to change that one and the neutral this one is 277 okay with that so this one is uh, understandable for you so it is not uh, very uh, complicated uh, to do it so this one here no need to change 400 300 and 400 it's okay that one for example you're using the 400 for for example you're using the voltage is uh, 415 so just put it 415 so you have the genset nominal voltage so if 415 this one what is the nominal voltage how did you take it that one so this is three feet for example you have 415 you just only this one divided into 1.732 so you can check your uh, neutral voltage so this is 239 or 240 so you can put it here like uh, 240 okay so down here is also 240 Let's make it short like that, and uh, you have 415. So since this one is paced to neutral, and then this one we have using 50, uh, 50 hertz, so do it like that. 
so 50 hertz so 0 120 uh, <coughs> no need to uh, change this one so for example this one mm, I hit with apply voltage just leave it like that or if you have the voltage rigging then you just apply it from here okay so the rest of it is uh, no need to change so let's go from our common settings this agency scene and blah 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 okay so no need to change this one so we have go for the engine uh, uh, parameters so starting rpm for example if this is higher for you or lower for you you can you can change it that one okay so <coughs> for example you don't like this one you just lower you can lower out but for me it is enough for this one so what is the shutdown for your old pressure you can use it as like uh, two two bar shutdown restart time is like 2.0 seconds and then it's zero and then the delay for that one simple as like that it is just give you an example only two bars for the oil so we here we can ch change everything what is necessary for you for the engine protect let's go for that <coughs> and uh, here you can change out the horn out this is for example if, if there is some alarm so you have the horn installed from your module so you can apply it from here okay so analog protect so you have the battery voltage is like uh, you are using here is two pieces battery uh, which is 12 by 12 so we have here the 24 volts so that one is full charge is around uh, 25 26 so minimum value is 30 you can put it that one so battery voltage uh, here for example uh, this one is uh, like low voltage this one so you can change it like, like 29 like, or 28 like that is no problem and battery voltage delay 5 seconds blah blah blah, blah by 10% so you can adjust it from here so we go from our protections generator protections so here you can also um, what we call uh, adjust whatever are necessary for you so <coughs> So for now, uh, just do it like this. So here, for example, your overload starting interval is here is, we can put it uh, 10. Okay. So 10 seconds by percentage. Okay. So just, uh, no, 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 this one here is 10 seconds and five and ten so 150 percent the problem you can put it also here 120 no problem with that so whatever the necessary for your configurations is in here so <coughs> you can change it this one for example you have here your uh, he mostly is this VOC is the problem showing always the alarm here you can set it 110% 115 is the maximum so this one is VOC so you can put it also 100 or 90 depends on your uh, standard set points so here is if there is an alarm like this here you can change it that one and also have the delays for that so it will not uh, automatically uh, shows the alarm they have some delay for that so here you can change it also like 10 seconds or 5 seconds so I don't want to go more with that so <coughs> because I don't have that time so here in reverse power you can change the delay and uh, everything from here power management is uh, nothing more than here uh, this is important also for the synchronizing because here is everything you need to know what is necessary so here no need to change so for example you have the slave and the master so if for example this one is the master so just put it like that so this is the uh, priority 
so if the rest of that if your slave just put it as a slave okay so <clears throat> so here we just put it 10 10 10 for 40 no need to change this one all of there until uh, the end of this uh, we just only uh, changed here the kilowatt and everything if it is necessary for you okay so <coughs> So you have to go to sync, sync control. So you need also uh, here like ten positive. You have to change this one daily or whatever sync options you have to change. It's necessary to change. So here is uh, not necessary. If you need to reduce or to make it higher, so it's up to you. So only this one is like the daily and the set points needed to uh, uh, what is the time and the percentage you need to uh, sync okay <coughs> so we have here the voltage no need to change this one load shading if you have load shading you have to apply that one here how many pieces percentage you need to so timer and everything here just disable time you have to change that one take a little reorder so this module is updated so next we are going to uh, here is the command so I think no need to uh, change this one okay so I will I will make uh, something uh, so here no need as I told you this one is no need and then the protections here <coughs> is over limit but uh, whatever you want it here is you can also uh, change it but for now I'll put it in the battery delete so you but warning under so over so that is the preview settings for this one but here is no need to change everything so this is the history <coughs> for example whatever we did in that one so you can see here the history and then values values here power factor and everything you can see it okay control speed request like this like this so here you can change everything okay so down you can select also what is necessary for you so history <coughs> language you can change it here the language for example this one is english spanish so we have here one two three in a language that uh, is already safe they have english spanish and chinese you can change it that one according to your uh, needs translator see here for example you need to translate that one to chinese or whatever you can use it by here plc you can apply this one you can make PLC for example if you know that one if you are expert for PLC you can apply it from here so screen editor for example you don't need this uh, here you can add and remove this one so whatever is necessary from your module you want to see you can uh, change, change it from here okay <coughs> so nothing more Land news is okay so that is that's it so for example you are already done about this uh, figurations just only uh, simply write click this one to your module and then if you want to save it just save it so if you have some questions just ask me and just comment down to my YT so I can answer you so uh, at this point I need to stop uh, this uh, uh, recording because we are already uh, done so once again Vince Blog is here thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you have some uh, questions or if you are uh, 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 mislead to the configuration so you just ask so I'm done so bye bye for now
see you again for my next vlog.